I just wanted to share this little uh, dunk bucket that we made. It worked out really well. The kids get to sit down here, fill it up with water, hit the target, and it falls down. We made a lot of the games for the birthday party. This is one of them. Um, you can see we also did archery. We made a tether ball here. It was pretty good. We made a tire swing for the kids. This is the other side of the property and um, some stuff from the party still out, you can see. I'll try to roll in some photos. We had some, we had a good time out here. There was a, we had a little bounce house out here. We had this trampoline. Uh, we had a jumbo Jenga set. Hope you'll enjoy those photos. That was really fun, easy to make. Probably cost us like $10 or something in wood. And this uh, football pass game, which was made by a free Harbor Freight tarp and some duct tape. But I just wanted to show this one. It's really fun. It's easy to make. And I'll show you how we did it. So first I'll show you some of the mistakes I've made. <clears throat> first thing I used was a five gallon bucket. You're probably wondering why I shot back up there. But this shot back is a lot more sturdier than just a regular five gallon bucket. The first bucket I used, it tore right out. It tore the bottom out. And I used a regular door hinge and that tore out. You could even see this heavy duty gate hinge is starting to bend and this front screw is tearing out. So I'll put another um, lag bolt up top here and I'll just drive it in. Also this piece of wood that, this piece of wood here that holds the whole mechanism up there um, had to be lag bolted in. And those are probably three inch lag bolts. So that tore out before. I replaced the bucket. And that one seems to be holding good. I also put um, like wooden washers on the inside to give it more clamping power. And everything seems to be holding well. So I'll let the bucket down and I'll show you how that target operates. So that's just a scrap piece of hose that I got uh, screwed to the tree. It was all the way down here. We hook it up to the garden hose and then you could fill up your bucket. So <clears throat> this is how this works. The bucket comes up here. The bucket comes up here, and if, I don't know if you can see those nails. The nails latch onto the bucket and actually go inside the bucket and latch on. So those nails right there go inside the bucket and they'll kind of hold the lip, and that'll hold the whole bucket up. So I'll show you how that works. Bucket goes up, target goes up. Put the target down. Now those nails are inside the bucket and it's holding the bucket up. So now when you hit the target, Mike, you go ahead and hit the target with that pull. The bucket falls down and the water on the poor individual down there. So there's just a hinge in the back that lets that target move up. A hinge here that will drop down the bucket and of course the water comes out. I'll show you how that all works. Full of water. Just a couple regular sized bean bags to throw at the target. I'm not going to have any of the kids sit in the chair today. It's uh, a little cold and rainy out. But I'll try to roll in some pictures of them getting soaked when it was hot. So the bucket's full of water now. I'm going to throw these bean bags at the target and you guys are going to be able to see just how well this thing works. Pretty fun. If I can hit the target. Half the fun is when you miss, and the person is so full of anxiety, they don't know if it's going to fall. All right. That's how it works. So that's the backyard dunk bucket. Hope you liked it. There's probably better ways you could do it, and there's, you could probably make it look better. So make improvements on this design. Do something great and have a lot of fun. And best of all, it's free.
All this stuff was just lying around the house. 